Tonight, former President Donald Trump is far ahead of former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley for the GOP presidential nomination. As you may have heard, Haley lost in her home state of South Carolina over the weekend. The first big multi-state contest will be on Super Tuesday, set for March 5th. Voters in 16 states will head to the polls. Florida will not be one of those states on Super Tuesday, and in fact, the Republican race for the White House could be over at that point. Why is Florida so far down the calendar when it comes to nominating presidential candidates, and what should voters expect this year? Here's West 2 News political reporter Greg Fox. I was just informed that we got double the number of votes that has ever been received in the great state of South Carolina. So. Former President Donald Trump already has roughly 10 percent of the delegates needed to win the Republican Party nomination, with Nikki Haley struggling to stay in the race. Florida voters just tuning into the race for the White House may wonder why we're just talking about Republicans when it comes to the election March 19th. First, Democrats have already named President Joe Biden their nominee. Second, independents are not eligible. For the state of Florida, we have closed primaries. Therefore, voters will be only able to vote for the party in which they are registered. Why are seven Republican names on the ballot? Because if they were in the race by mid-December, they stay on the ballot. Now that you know everything about the election itself, Republicans may still be thinking, what's the point of voting when Florida's election is more than two months deep into the primary season? Historically, Florida's presidential preference primary has been in March, but that has not always been the case. In fact, there were two elections in the last two decades in which it moved up. Florida was the springboard to victory for Republican John McCain in 2008. But because Florida moved its primaries to January, the Democratic Committee awarded no delegates to Hillary Clinton, who won, or Barack Obama. In 2012, the RNC punished Florida by stripping Mitt Romney of half the delegates he won in the Sunshine State. But local Republicans say Florida's diversity warrants early placement in the primaries. I mean, the diversity, and then also, too, is, look, we're the third most popular state now in the union, California, Texas, Florida. I think it says a lot about our state. Early voting in Florida begins Monday in Orange and other counties. Greg Fox, West 2 News. Next Tuesday, March 7th, is the last day you can request that mail ballot before, to be sent to your home before the March 19th election.